So obsidian is basically just quenched lava. Uh -huh. And, you know, that's, you can't get more obvious showing of volcanic than that, you know? Right. <laughs> so this is very much of a, a volcanic area. Right, and because we're like towards the hill here, these soils are generally not as deep, not as fertile. And counterintuitively, for vines, that's what you want. If you give a vine everything it wants, if it has deep alluvial soil with plenty of minerals, plenty of um, plant available water, um, if, you, if you make the vine really comfortable, it doesn't give you good fruit. Vines have two choices on how to reproduce themselves. Um, one is the one we want, which is producing fruit, but it only does that if it's feels it's, it's at risk of not surviving another season. If you give a vine everything it wants, all it does is put its, its energy into vegetative production and it can clone itself in place, which is quite clever. So if a vine finds a place where it's very successful, it's getting all of its needs met, it just sends out tendrils and any tendril that hits the ground, um, plants are, um, they can change their morphology. So a shoot that hits the ground, the plant can tell, it'll turn that into roots and it'll produce a clone of itself next to itself. So again, very clever. It's going to produce itself um, vegetatively rather than sexually. We want the sex. So the sex produces fruit. Um, in order to, to push that button on the organism, if you will, you deprive it of everything it wants. Um, and what you're doing is you're, you're fooling the, the vine into thinking that it might not survive another season. And that prompts it to stop it with the veggie growth. There's a, a hormone that comes out of the roots. Again, the roots are the brain of the organism. It's called abscisic acid. It shoots up to the top of the plant and tells the top of the plant, quit it with the veggie growth. We are not gonna survive here another season. Man the life books. So the, in, each individual grape is basically an escape pod for the organism. And it's gonna put um, really good flavors and color and sugar into the fruit in the hopes of attracting uh, animals, mainly birds, to eat the fruit and therefore the seed and then deposit the seed somewhere else where the next generation might have a chance. So each individual grape is an escape pot for the organism, um, biologically speaking. Cool. We just figured out how to make it to something more fun. <laughs>